I almost didn't have everything synchronized properly here. 
Uh, hello everyone and welcome. Uh, Monday night is point and click adventure night. So tonight we are doing uh, my favourite and first point and click adventure game that I ever played, Simon the Sorcerer. Uh, this game came out in 1993, I think. Yeah, 1993. And the main character, Simon, is voiced by um, Chris Barry, who you may remember from The British Empire and Red Dwarf. Um, now the way I've got this set up is we're actually playing on my iPhone. Um, I did try to see if I could get um, uh, like one of my like like keyboard mouse interfaces to work because it would be far easier because it's a bit awkward on this tiny little screen. I say tiny, it's the SX Max, isn't it? <laughs> um, but what I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing this is uh, I am st uh, streaming this to my Apple TV. Um, and then the Apple TV is then going into the capture card, which is then coming back into the PC, which is then getting picked up by the stream and then sent back out to use. <laughs> so we have a really, really bizarre uh, setup here. <laughs> um, when I start the game, there is a lengthy introduction sequence uh, to start off the story. <laughs> Uh, oh, hang on, I'm just seeing there as well. Is it oh, this game's older than you, royalty? <laughs> what, uh, what what years were were you kids born? Are you like after the two thousands, perhaps, um, or like just or just before the two thousand maybe? <laughs> but uh, yeah, th 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 this is um, technically this is the first CD ROM game that, although it was the third CD ROM game I ever owned, it was the very first game. That I ever played that was on a CD ROM when CD ROMs in PCs were a newfangled thing, you know, when we're moving away from the, um, you know, the, the, the five and a bit inch uh, floppy disks or vinyls that I used to call them, as used to slam them into the machines uh, <laughs> from back then. I've even got some of the, um, yeah, like the, the floppy ones, but I've also got some of the, uh, the, the, they were like floppy disks, but they were like the normal, like three and bits that you'll be, that you're probably used to seeing as a save icon. Except they're, uh, I've got some that are a bit longer and made from like this solid frame. Um, but uh, we're not getting to that, we're getting into uh, old tech. <laughs> but uh, was it 96 for, uh, for you, Chris? That was the year I started high school. <laughs> and uh, oh, 97 there for royalty. But uh, what we'll do is, as normal, because obviously there's a lot, lot of dialogue in these games, um, I, you know, I, I won't talk over it. Uh, <laughs> but you, you know what a floppy disk is? D would you understand the connection of a um, a biro and a uh, cassette tape? W w would you understand the co the connection with that though for for your for your group? <laughs> but uh, we'll get started with the game. There, there is like a uh, the, a long intro. Um, as it's as it, it sort of uh, it's going through, so I, I won't ramble through that. Uh, I'm fingers crossed that I have the audio channeled in the right direction in this ludicrous setup. Um, <laughs> so just um, make sure. Actually, hang on. Um, oh, I should say as well before we go uh, any further, we are playing with the original, uh, the original pixel art. Uh, we're not going to do any of these. Th these filters that they put on are absolutely hideous and destroy the the classic artwork uh, that was made for the game. Um, right, right. Let's uh, let's get into it, and hopefully, uh, if I don't see the wiggly lines go up on the desktop, I will stop and reconfigure. This song has been stuck in my head since 1993. For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. <laughs> Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Uh? Uh? Let me try that again. 
the wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. I would have skipped through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. And now, for all you traditionalists... <coughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. So that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. Okay, Gobos, this magic paper bring food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi. Alizangi, Alizongi, Alizongi. Ah! Huh? Huh? Hi, uh, how do you do? Ah! Lunch time! Not much meat on him. Down food! Need more pepper. Ah, 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 Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great. I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight. Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. 
there we go we have control now again <clears throat> so this is your, your um your, your classic uh point and click adventure style where we have actions on the bottom um that we then have to correspond to what we do on screen so we can you know tap pick up and we'll get the book it's too big for me in that case we've actually clicked on see we'll open the drawer oh look there's a pair of scissors in here we'll need the scissors later Yep, uh, not a pizza bar in sight. <laughs> uh, w which part were you not expecting, Royalty? Was that the bit with the, uh, the pulling the woman out of the hat? <laughs> Let's grab that magnet whilst we're here. Now, is there anything else that we need to pick up? I think that's everything from here for now. Let's just check. Yeah, yeah. See, with this as well, on, on the iOS version, you get this little button here that highlights all the reference points, which is uh, quite handy, especially when it's like tiny, tiny um, like action points on the screen. It's not really built for I shouldn't really have this on an iPad, but my iPad 2 would never do this setup. <laughs> uh, what's that there? No, it wasn't quite what you expected from the game. <laughs> I hope the volume levels are all right for everyone. Um, I just took a random stab in the dark for um, for uh, the, the volume levels for the, the voice and everything. <laughs> so our first objective though is to become a wizard. And I've actually got a notepad here. I'm just gonna put, uh, become wizard. Because with this game as well, um, there is kind of like multiple paths you can almost take. Uh, to get um, like to get to the end point, you don't always necessarily have to meet everybody and do everything to get certain actions to get you to the end. So I can't actually remember off the top of my head. From a bell. I can't remember what we used that on the the thing from the bell, but we'll come across it as, as we go there. So we're gonna head to the tavern, possibly. It's kind of awkward on the, like I say, on the, on the small screen. We need to open the door of the tavern <laughs> and then head in. Let's uh, first of all look at. Apparently, the place is called the Drunken Druid. <laughs> Into the Drunken Druid. Right, uh, let's see. We'll pick up matches off the top there because I remember that. And since we've got the scissors, we will use that. That doesn't work. Oops. They look like hairdressing scissors. We will use the scissors on this fellow that's sleeping, and we will borrow his beard. Because we'll need that later on. <laughs> there we go, clean shaven and just two uh, two snips. <laughs> right, let's talk to the uh, the uh, the Valkyrie woman here for a bit. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here. Yeah, casually steal, stealing beards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's head through to the back room and see the wizards are sitting there playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I've got two chows, two pongs, and then Kong. Dev a bit of soap bait on it. They were Excuse me. Yes, boy. <laughs> oh, do, do you like that line, do you? <laughs> I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some. I bain't be seeing any round these parts, like. We be us humble farmers who are. Who are, that be right. I be about as magical as a run of bean, like. You have absolutely feeble accents, fellas. Are you saying we be fakes like? Yep. What makes you think we're a wizards anyway, like? Calypso told me to look for four wizards disguised as country bumpkins. 
There'd be loads of pumpkins around these parts who are. So why us? Never mind. I've got other clues. When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguises off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I want to be a wizard. You? A wizard? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, ha 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 ha? My dear boy, you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. It requires years of study. Come back next century when you're older. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes came again. to us, remember? <laughs> Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy? Make me a wizard or I'll cry. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. So I'm the East Wind, right? Him. Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy? I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favor. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey? Eh? Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Naplin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky types, those necromancers, always messing about with embalming fluid and giblets. Tight fisted sod was probably buried with it. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. No problem. We look forward to your return. Where did you say so we I've just were? noted there that we now need to find the staff, and I can't remember where we have to go to find no the staff. With our task. But we'll find it as we go. We only just got it. Let's head on over here. It looks like medieval, but it's got like a chessboard uh, video game in the corner there. <laughs> Open the door for the shop. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. Excuse me. <laughs> How can I help you? No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. How can I help you? A 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me? 30%? Uh, 40? 50. Can I get any service or not? What would you like, sir? Hard information. Got any? What sort of information? What do you know about sordid? He likes jellied anchovies. And perfume bath salts. Anything else? What's the square root of 1369? 37. Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I don't know. Nor do I. Where's the door? No need to be rude. We'll come back to the store later because we do need to get uh, a few items from here later on. <coughs> Let's talk to the dodgy geezer. <laughs> you interested in any mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? 
It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off bargains. Yeah, noisy ducks at the front there, isn't it, uh, Rody? Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry, sold the last one five minutes ago. I've got lots of other stuff, though. Let's have a look, then. Anything on the map is yours for only one gold piece. See anything takes your fancy? I'll have some of that worthless junk, please. Worthless junk? You insult my professional honesty, sir. All this junk was handcrafted thousands of years ago. It's priceless, and yet I, like a fool, sell them for next to nothing. Now, is there anything you want or not? Not really. Bye. Who needs your business anyway? There is an item that we need to get off here later on, and I can't remember what it is, but one thing I do know that we need is the ladder, since we've come this way. He like the uh, the walking animation, <laughs> marching with his robe there behind him. Swipe a few things from the Druid House. Not like a determined walk royalty. <laughs> it's super powered elephant cold remedy. We'll need that for the dragon later. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. I think we used the specimen jar at the swampling place. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, we can't do this bit yet here either. Let's head on back to where uh, towards the drunken druid. Did <laughs> you walk like you do when you're in a mood? <laughs> Let's head out of the village. And we'll go and help the giant. Or at least, well, tall bloke anyway. There's a bigger giant later on. I can remember which way we had to go. But you can confirm that, Chrissy. <laughs> I always get confused in these woods as to uh, which way is the right way to go. <laughs> Did you just hear something? Uh, talk to you, let's talk to you in the corner. I'm not letting us talk to them yet, hang on. Just a bit of balsa, or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You can at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Uh, what should we choose? I think I'm going insane. I think I'm going insane. You should see a healer then, mate. Anyway, you got any spare wood or not? Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Eh? Uh, we're woodworm! We need wood to live! This stump's just about had it! Sorry, I didn't realize you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? No, of course not. That's all right then. How come you woodworm are talking anyway? That's just so typical! You just presume we don't talk, just because we're woodworm. Let me tell you something, mate. Your attitude is bloody typical of humanity in general. It makes me sick. You never talk to us. 
You just presume that Woodworm can't talk. It's just racism to the third degree. Look, I didn't mean to offend anyone. That's what they all say. One misplaced foot and ten of my best friends never breathe again. I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Oh, go for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony. Balsa. Ebony. Driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak! Balsa! Oak! Mahogany! Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is, then. What do I get out of it? The satisfaction of knowing you've made an invertebrate's life more bearable. I feel better just thinking about it. <laughs> right, so the next bit we have to go and get some mahogany for these guys. So I've noted that on my scribblings next to me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, I, I love like, the characters and the writing through this one, uh, Royalty. <laughs> Remember those characters as well, because we will encounter those in the second game. Oh, here we go. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Graf. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no. That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's that easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the fridge. Now, come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me past, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action instead. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. You realize that action of this type is in direct violation of subsection 3, paragraph 4 of our contract? I shall not, I shall not be moved. You've got no right to do this. I shall not. I shall not be moved. 
I really could do with some luscious. <laughs> there we go. So that's the uh, the real conclusion to that uh, particular old children's story. <laughs> but uh, I imagine after that big long uh, section of dialogue, you'll almost be back rolled. <laughs> Let's head back to um, take the, the middle path as we come out of the village. The, the, the giant must be there. <laughs> As I always confuse myself with the directions in the wood here as to which goes to diff, um, like which part. Because some of them are actually just dead ends. <laughs> ah, this is the bit I was thinking of. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! My foot! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! My foot! Uh, I was to talk to you. Ow! The barbarian. <laughs> Can you help me, boy? What appears to be the problem? It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. Let's have a look at it then. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. Let's head on there. <laughs> Ooh, I might have to pause for two seconds. Uh, my phone has just switched over into nighttime mode and dimmed the screen too far. I think it's coming all right on your end, but it's, it's the screen on my phone's got a bit funny, so I'll be two seconds. The summer is calling The summer is calling If the kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you This bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald Took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way And we're back <laughs> That was a bit of fun. I haven't had to, had to undo that setting on my phone for so long. I completely forgot which way you had to, um, which menu you had to go to to do it. <laughs> Let's talk to the owl. past. Oh, hang on, I need to go back there. Pick up Pepper. <laughs> Is the audio back on now? <laughs> I forgot when I come out with the B-Bright back thing, it doesn't enable the desktop audio again. <laughs> And this is where the layout in the forest gets a bit confusing. You need to find a way back to the billy goats. What's the awful racket? Can you shut up, please? Sorry, old chap, can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? 
I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? You could start by never breathing again. I see, old chap. I bid you good day. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. So the billy goats are just beyond him. But we need a watermelon to stuff up his tuba. <laughs> Right, then we head back here, and now we go to the bottom part of the screen. Cross here. How many more screens was it? Oh, another screen. So we'll pass the um, the the mites or whatever they were called again. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we will use the okay, whistle. Okay, you've made. There's no point. It's blocked up with something. I Ooh. shall not. I shall not be moved. It's got something stuck in the end of it. It's got something stuck in the end of it. I All right, how do we unblock that? Not, then? I shall not be moved. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. I'll go and get the biggest gruff brother. I shall not. I shall not. I don't think he'd find any use for it. There are other trolls, you know. I shall Let's not. Talk to the troll. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Satisfaction are small furry rodents with a nasty disposition. Eh? Satisfaction, noun. Satisfying or being satisfied in regard to desire or want or doubt. Eh? Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. You could do with some meat on your bones. I would have eaten those two by now if it wasn't for their big brother. He's a really tough old goat. If I lay a claw on them, oh. You're scared of a billy goat? This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. Fine, I'll go get some goat for you, okay? Okay, hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? It's a magic whistle. Magic, eh? Give it here. Huh, that did a lot. Now where were we? Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you in... Is this guy bothering you? Yes, yeah, sick him. Righty ho. Oh, ding. you've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow! What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. <laughs> Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. And now we can cross the river. Just think we've never done a, uh, an egg count today. It must be uh, it must be not far off 60 now, are you, Chrissy? <laughs> 56. <laughs> into the forest. Now 
love the artwork. We have like little faces hidden everywhere in the rocks as well as we go. Oh, let's talk to this idiot. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What I don't know about magic ain't worth knowing. Why aren't my beans growing then? Eh? I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. Actually, I... And if you're lucky, I'll split the fame and fortune with you. Have you got the water yet? I'm working on it. So we need water to get the magic of beans. <laughs> water for beans. In the notepad. <laughs> I hear we are at one of the crossroads. Uh, one thing I haven't shown you yet, I don't think. Uh, if I go to use, you see the magical postcard. This is what we can use to fast travel around the map. So you can see the village, the owl, the, uh, the troll bridge. And um, here it goes to the back of this crossroad. Yeah. yeah, we need to get the magic beans so that they grow watermelons so that we can shove it up that fella's bassoon. <laughs> Ooh, what did you have to do here again? I can't remember what you had to do on this frame now. There's someone fishing down there. Ooh. It's the Tolkien Appreciation Society. Uh, how do we get down there? Can we use the ladder on that? Do we need a rope? That doesn't work. We need a rope. Unless we climb down those vines. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Walk to Gollum. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes? Don't hurt us. Don't let them hurt us, precious nice hobbits. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry. It's just the annual meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. Who's Tolkien? What? What did you say? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Tolkien is the greatest author ever to draw breath. Surely you've heard of Lord of the Fingal Ornaments. Uh... <laughs> what about the short man with the hairy feet? Oh, that Tolkien. I knew you must have heard of him. I'm dressed as Gollum. I hope this is what Tolkien envisioned when he thought him up. <laughs> Did he think up the fishing rod as well? No, it's just that it's my year on dinner duty. I haven't even had a bite yet. Why don't you just dial a pizza? This cave's not on the phone. Oh, right. What do you do at these meetings? We talk about him and his achievements. We also reenact famous scenes from his book, hence the costume. Mad. You're all completely mad. No, you just worship Tokyo. Excuse me, but I have to get on with my fishing. Happy hunting then. See ya. Thanks. <laughs> now we need to do some fishing for him, but I can't remember offhand what we have to give him. So he hands over the uh, the rod. Excuse me. Have you seen them nasty thieving hobbits here? Oh, it's you. The Lord of the Finger Ornaments. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you have a license to fish here? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, that's fine then. Carry on. What were the other dialogue options there? Talk to. Hello? Excuse me. Have you seen them nasty thieving hobbit thing? Oh, it's you. What a waste of a good routine. 
Uh, so we have loads of fish here. Troll. What was it that you're doing here? This is the annual general meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. What's with a fishing rod? It's like this. Every year one of us gets chosen to get lunch. I haven't had so much as a nibble yet. Happy hunting then. See ya. Thanks. So we need to get lunch for him. I don't know if we managed to fish up the ring. Or if we have to get the ring from somewhere else and give it to him and then we fish up something else. It's one way round or the other. <laughs> Back to the crossroads and head south. Oh, this is what the bell ringer ring was for. Yeah. <laughs> so use clapper. And then we will use the bell. What the hell do you want? I've come to rescue you. <laughs> Who put the lights out? So is the risk when you have an infinitely deep hat? <laughs> Climb up there. I think was it use hair. There we go. You're not the wicked witch. I've come to rescue you, sweet lady. You're not the first. The witch caught the rest of them and turned them into meat pate. Meat pate? Yuck. That's only the lucky ones. You should see what happens to the rest. Just who is this wicked witch? The wicked witch of the West. She took me from my father when I was just a piglet. It was she that perverted my beauty and imprisoned me here. Am I destined to spin wool for the rest of eternity? Hang on. Did you say piglet? Maybe this will explain everything. My God! Everyone makes the same mistake, and when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is where I come in, I feel. Fear not, your savior is here. What did I do to deserve this? But we'll imprison her in the hack for now anyway. <laughs> right, let's hop back out of here. <laughs> uh, which bit was that, uh, Chris, where you were, where, where you were saying, uh, what on earth was that? <laughs> Wait, but no, we do have to come back here later on because we have to use the the wood mites or whatever they're called um, here again <laughs> well please use them enjoying it So this is uh, my my, my favourite first ever as well point and click adventure game I ever played. <laughs> yes. 
slowly walk through the next stage. Problem is, is it, I can't remember which direction is what in the forest. <laughs> Oh, just go back to the token place, right? Hang on, I'll tell you what. I know the one thing that we do have that we can do right away. Oh, we've got this for the Have you got here. the water yet? I'm working on it. Now, let's just jump past him for a second. Because we've got the pig, so we can use the pig to get... I believe we use it to get through the door. We haven't found the dwarf mine yet either, have we? Alright, so this is back to Gollum's bit. Right, so what we will do is we will use the map and then jump all the way back to the village. And I'm gonna go through here. Past the dodgy geezer. Noisy ducks. Past the druid's house. And was it here where you could deploy the pig? Chocolate truffle door. Yeah, that's the one. Of course, use pigs to search for truffles. Quick work at that door. <laughs> Let's head into the house. Right, what do we need? We need to steal or borrow. <laughs> so we've got pick up. Get the smoke box. And we'll pick up the beekeeper's outfit. Anything else in here? Have a look at the table. It's all laid and ready for tea. Just like Granny used to have. Head on out. And I clicked on the right block. So we will now wear the beekeeping thing. I'll wear it when I need it. But maybe we'll just use the smoky thing on there. Now, do we have to collect it on anything? Can we just go straight in? Just putting all them away in there. Pick up wax. I took some beeswax from the hive. I can't remember off the top of my head what we have to use the beeswax for, but I'm sure it will become obvious <laughs> when the time comes. Oh, I remember what we have to use the beeswax for. Let's go to the pub. I mean, with this game, you, 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 there's not all of the tasks that you technically have to complete. Because there are like multiple paths you can take to engineer the route to get to the castle. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Do you know where Calypso has got to? Nah, but then that old geezer is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. What do you know about sordid? Very little. He lives up in the craggy peaks and generally keeps himself to himself. He's boosted my trade tenfold, though. How is Sordid helping to boost business? It's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. 
Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is, though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about, personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? The old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. I come from another dimension. As I said, we get all sorts in here. I quite fancy a drink now. Make mine a wet wizard. Hang on a moment. Use wax on barrel. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. I've blocked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. What sparrow juice? Wait here, kid. I've got something for you. Hey, kid. Take one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold piece a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. That'll be useful later on. Now can we pick up the beer? Stick it with the hat with all the other stuff. Good thing I've got a big hat. Right, so. Uh, right, let's head out of town, but I think we'll do it using the... Actually, no, let's just head out of town on foot. <laughs> Wish I could remember what you have to trade off the dodgy geezer for. <laughs> Take the north path. I haven't even found the witch's hood yet. Uh, no bother royalty, we'll, uh, we'll catch you later on. <laughs> you have to catch up on the adventure on uh, on YouTube later on. <laughs> Hold up, we're back to this crazy guy now. Right, let's take a north from this crossing again. Aha. Hello. Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? You're fixing a gas leak? No, I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Oh, uh, w w w which stream's still to be caught up on? <laughs> the renowned digger of deep holes. Philistine, I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. You mean Dan Quayle? No, I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? As a matter of fact, I haven't. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Let's head on. We need him to dig a hole for us later on. <laughs> ah, here we go. Uh, pick up stone. <laughs> oh, look. 
There's a word written on it. It has the word beer chalked on it. Now, do we have enough material to get into the mine yet? Oi, dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Course you are. Now sod off or we'll taste a sharp end of his spear. Nice people. Uh, so this is where we wear the beard that we borrowed earlier on. Wow, very sophisticated. Itchy though. Oh, st uh, still got to catch up on the end of uh, Broken Sword and the uh, the Dark Beginner's Guy. All right, mate. <laughs> All right. What's the password then? The uh, password is beer. Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. Watch your fellow dwarf. Go away, I'm busy. What's rattle your cage? You, now go away. I'm an inspector from head office. Where's your ID? Um, I've left it at home. Leave me alone. So if we try to head down the mine... Stop! Guard! Get rid of him! Duty dwarves only! I am a duty dwarf. No, you're not. Fair enough. So naff off! <laughs> Do you accept bribes? 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 What did you have in mind? Hang on a minute. It had better be good. <laughs> Twitter notifications coming in there. Downside of us doing this on the phone. Um, right now. Do we give him the barrel or the voucher? Uh, or the voucher? Wow, a free drink. It's a shame I don't get off early enough to use it. Maybe let's give him the barrel then. Care for some beer by any chance? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't hurt. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. Bring it over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? Move this feather. I'm sure they've got a key in I'll room. never be able to move that fat lump. Oh, hang on. Use feather on sleeping dwarf. There we go. Pick up. I'm sure that's a key. Yep. on out. I don't think we've got all the materials we need to complete the mine, but we'll have a little rubbish anyway. Guard! Guard! Time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slug? He must have gone for a beer break. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to us we go. La 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 ho, 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 ho. Shut up! Use key for the door. I can't remember what we have to do with the hook now. I ho, I ho, pick up to where we go. La 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 Get out of here. This is restricted area. I've come to make you an offer. Really? What sort of an offer? Well, I can't tell you at the moment. Stop wasting my time. Get out of here. It's him that we have to give the voucher to. And stay out. 
Holmes Key from there. We've got to go through this animation each time we fail. <laughs> I thought I told you to go away. And what have we got that would suggest? Right, you are. Ah, uh, clicked too many times. <laughs> and stay out. Beauty door. <laughs> shut, shut up. I thought I told you to go away. Yep, but I've come back. Ugh. Get out of here before I throw you out. And stay out. I ho, I ho, it's up to as we go. We'll get the right dialogue up eventually here. Shut up. I thought I told you to go away. Um, temporary misunderstanding. A temporary miscalculation on your part. Why? Because I've come to make you a once-in-a-lifetime offer. <clears throat> what sort of an offer? Uh, I've got something in my inventory that you want. There we go. I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that, then? Well... Give voucher for beer to Dwarf. What's this? Happy hour at the Drunken Druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one, though. Got a gem off here. Here you are. Now clear off. Can't remember what we need to do with the gem, but never mind. <laughs> and stay out. How did we trade it with a dodgy visa? Shut up! Apparently Review Tech USA has got a new video out. <laughs> Head back up here. <laughs> yeah. Originally I was building like an emulator so I could emulate the old DOS version that I just couldn't get to work with Windows 10 properly. I'm not wandering around wearing this beard. It's too itchy. You can get Simon's 1 and 2 on Steam, but ah, they're that's better. horrendous ports. Unfortunately. <laughs> Pick up paper. It's a shopping list for the shop. It's a shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. We can't get through those doors there yet. Let's walk up this bit at the back here. I always think those mushrooms at the top of the screen look like a face. <laughs> but if you look at the artwork, there's all sorts of like faces and patterns all over the place. Here we go, into the cave up the mountain. That's Swampling's house. Do we want to meet the Swampling today? I suppose we can. We're going to walk this way as far as we can go just to see if we can trigger the map uh, for the, the speed, um, the fast travel. Some of the warriors that have been turned to statues. It's too big for me. A solid stone statue of a wizard. Keep walking. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I remember what we had to do here. <laughs> right, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna jump back to This magical map is used to speed around the game. Back to the village. Into the shop. And we will give the shopping the list. Just jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Excuse me. You're not the regular person. He's sick. No. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. And that will enable us to get into that um, particular castle. I'm going to try the gemstone on the dodger geezer. I don't know if that works or not. I can't quite remember. Hey, mate, you interested in a priceless gem? Give it. I'll have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarven, I'll wager. Mm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Four gold pieces? That's a quality gemstone, that is. Okay, how about ten gold pieces? Mm, it's an improvement, but still daylight robbery. Okay, fifteen pieces, but only because I like the look of you. Let's call it a nice even 20 and be done with it. Okay, okay. 18 gold pieces it is. Pardon? Uh, 20 then. But you drive a hard bargain, no mistake. I better go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. There we go. <laughs> uh, can we swipe any of his stuff? No. Nope. Right, so where do we need next? We still need water for the um uh, what did you call it? Um magic beans. <laughs> Let's uh, use the map. Let's go visit the swamp lake. We'll double back from here because this will be the fastest way to uh, to do it. Need a metal detector as well at some stage. I just look at all this well. I just love the artwork in this game. <laughs> it's old style pixel art. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> Let's go see the Swampling because it is birthday. Or her birthday. I can never quite tell. <laughs> I'd better knock. Oh, uh, hello there, welcome to the stream. Ah. It's point and click adventure tonight, uh, so we're playing uh, Simon the Sorcerer. Anybody home? Hello? Huh? Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Well, actually, I think I've got the wrong house. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. Yeah, the um, the, the ports for this have been um, like really terrible, but thankfully it runs smoothly on my phone because uh, I'm I, we're, we're streaming this from my phone to the Apple TV box, which is then getting captured by a capture card into my computer so that we can play it. We just have to ignore any notifications that I might get off Twitter as we go. <laughs> Don't cry. I've come to see you. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew! Hang 
on. I didn't agree to... Friend? I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from Swamplin to Swamplin for generations. Well, I know that the iOS version uh, of Simon 2 works all right because I have played through it on my phone um, about a couple of years ago. Um, I was, like, before before realising I could do it from my phone here, I was working on an emulator that was going to work with the original, because I've, I've still got my original discs from of this game, you know, from 1993 when it first came out. Because I've still got, you know, the, I've even got still got the original, um, you know, the big box packaging it came in. Because uh, well, this was like the this was like the first CD-ROM game that I ever played, and the third one that I owned. <laughs> but um, I know that you can get it on Steam, but the Steam port is it's not got the original art. It's got that horrible filter on that you can't get rid of. And because I wanted to like uh, you know stream it with the original artwork, I don't want any of that daft, daft filter thing on it. But, uh, let's see what what we what was the thing we wanted there. What's in this stuff? Ancient secret recipe. Can't tell secret ingredients. Step one. Swamp mud. Very important ingredient. Mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes Swamplin's cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> I do have the uh, the 3D one, but that was uh, I, I never um, I never got far through it because it just kept on glitching and crashing and failing. So I, I sort of abandoned it after that. And I believe a German company took over the franchise after that and did two more games, but I've never played those. Um, I've only ever like, really played like well dozens and dozens of times over uh, the uh, Simon's one and two. <laughs> if it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Good day! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. Good day! I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> no one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friends. Well, actually, I uh, I still have my original um, uh, 486 Olivetti uh, computer from the 90s where this Simon's 1 and 2 are still installed. Uh, it's in the shed. The uh, problem is I can't capture from it. <laughs> No more for me, thanks. I'm stuffed. Eat up! It's good for you! Oh, no. Um, well, what do we have to do? Eat, eat. Where is it? Consume. <laughs> Not again! Yeah, there's just some old uh, older games just like, like you say just refuse to uh, work with all the um, uh, well the modern kernels really isn't it? <laughs> they just can't uh, interpret it properly. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friends. Please have mercy. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. Is it you specimen jar on that? Is that how we get rid of it? Yeah. I said, back in the 90s, I used to play this um, all the time because, well, it was, it was one of the only couple of games that I had. Um, I'm trying to remember all the different puzzles. I can't remember the order of the room, but I do have a notepad here to try and keep myself on track. <laughs> oh no! I've run out of stew! I'm so sorry. I'll just go collect ingredients to make more. Stay here. I'll be back soon. Thank God I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. Right, let's move this box here out the way. 
of course we will encounter the swamp thing again uh, in the second game when we get to that uh, one but uh, like I said when we finished Broken Sword last week um, oh, is he going to walk down the ladder? Yeah, there he goes finished Broken Sword last week uh, we're doing Simon this week uh, oh we need a hammer and nails don't we we haven't got that so let's go back up here <laughs> Uh, when we complete this one, we'll be going on to Broken Sword 2. And then when we finish that, we'll go back to Simon 2. <laughs> After that, we might do Sam and Max. I haven't quite decided yet on that one. <laughs> right, so we need the hammer and nails. Now, to get that, we need from the wood bloke. Now, what did we need from the wood chopper? Oh, we need to get him to dig up that um, uh, the special metal that we need to cut, so he can cut down the magical tree. But to get that, we need the fellow that's going to dig the hole. So we need the um, the artifact. Yeah, <laughs> it's all an elaborate chain. <laughs> Uh, which ones were the, the cryo ones? At, uh, that name sounds familiar, but I can't think off the top of my head. Uh, which ones? Uh, were, were those like other point and click ones, or was that one some of the other ones? Because that name does sound familiar. Oh, here's the woodchopper fella. Uh, I knew it was too good to be true. Talk to him. I get the notepad out because we need me. Yeah. axe. Axe head. And for that we need whatever the non-copyright infringing version of Mithril is. <laughs> you look like you need cheering up. No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. Nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. That's easy for you to say. What did I do to deserve this? I hope your bad luck's not catching. It's not so much bad luck. My main woe is trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. How can a tree be a problem? It's not all trees, just the ones around here. Oh, uh, thank you for the follow there as well. <laughs> We, uh, we stream every so night and as well if you're... Well, actually, we haven't pressed they the like button for ages. They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Ooh, the lag button still works. <laughs> it didn't lag out the stream. <laughs> Were you holding the axe the right way around? I tried holding it in every way imaginable, but to no avail. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. I bet you feel a proper fool. All right, don't rub it in. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? Milrith. It's an anagram yeah. of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. I'll keep an eye out for some for you. Then you'll be looking for a long time. It's incredibly rare, and I don't know anyone that's ever seen any. Rare? What, like uncooked meat? Not really. Rare, as in a straight real estate salesman. I spoke to the dwarves about it, and they just laughed and gave me this metal detector. Ah, here we go. I'll have that. <laughs> Give me the metal detector, and I'll have a look round. Okay. You can't do any worse than me, I suppose. You're on. So we're going to take that back up to... Well, we'll... we'll, we'll, we'll Why didn't I jump to, to the... I um, think here we'll put on the top here. <laughs> to get another metal detector in there, in number three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just use the map. We'll go back up to where the sleeping giant is. If I get a double back. I've got a feeling that it's this screen. 
I could be wrong. Use metal detector. I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully. Yeah, yeah, I was right. <laughs> and we take that back to the fella who's digging the hole and get him to dig a fresh hole here, which gives us the metal. We can take it to the blacksmith for him to hammer it a bit. <laughs> wow, that sure is strong metal. We didn't get all oh right. So how do we get that one again? Pick up. I've already found the mill rift. Right. So where is? Oh, the pink panther one. Is that the one? Oh. I had that one as well. It's, it's sort of like you, you, you like travel around the world because you've got the you're at this like international kids like summer camp, um, and you have to travel all all over the world to solve all the different mysteries. Passport apparel, that must be what it is. I do remember roughly playing that. I might add that to the uh, the Monday night's point and click um, uh, one. We're, we're, we're quite a long way off that because I say we're, 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 we're doing Simon at the minute. Then we're going to, back to Broken Sword two, followed by Simon. And I say then we might throw Simon Max in. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> the question I have now is. Where do we get the little artifact thing from? And uh, that one doesn't sound familiar, no. Uh, what have I missed here? Something we haven't picked up. I'll have to sell can't do that everything. with him yet. Uh, no, I haven't seen that one. I, I just speaking about Earthworm Jim though. I have played the uh, the uh, the Nintendo games for Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Right, so there's no point in doing him yet because we haven't got whatever that stone is. Now, where do we get that from? What other materials have we got? What does this sign say again? It says, equal rights for trolls on it. And that stone's got the beer thing on it. It's super-powered elephant cold remedy. Now, we use that on the dragon later on. Um, what did we use the magnet for? Uh, magnet for? That doesn't work. Could be that we need a rope to put that on the end of. Let's just keep hiking, hiking for a moment and see if anything triggers my memory. <laughs> the funny thing on this particular path, though. Leads to the bit from the beginning of the game during the intro sequence, and there's just it's just a dead end. Yeah. Look at stone tablet. A stone table used for the sacrificing of shaved lions. Right. Here's the map. So we don't have the materials yet to uh, get in the box that get delivered to the shop. Otherwise, it would be waiting outside. Can't do the bit with the blacksmith yet because we haven't got the metal. Uh, we need water for the magic beans. Do we have anything that could store water? Or is there something else that we give him to make him 
give us the beans. No, no, we definitely have to take a bucket of water over it because I can remember the animation. Now, is there anything that we've missed in here? Pick up herbs. I can't reach them. No, I think we've got everything from uh, we've nicked everything from here. And yeah, we've done everything from this bit. Use the map. And I think we'll use that to get us to the edge of the village. That name sounds familiar as well. It's a distinct possibility I may have played that one as well, maybe. <laughs> There's so, so many of them, because I, I, you know, I love all the point-and-click games. Um, but there's loads of them I just can't remember half their names, don't I? <laughs> right, let's head south from here. And this should be the direction of the Witch's Hut. I can't remember if there's anything else we encounter along the way. So let's use the handle. And this is our bucket of water, isn't it? Pick up. Let's pick up in the middle. <laughs> it's too big for me. It's a very deep well. No, oh, so we've got to get this exact point here. It's the thing we're doing this on the phone. It's not like when you click on a mouse where you've got that pixel-perfect clicking. <laughs> I'd better knock. Nobody home. I have a bad feeling about this. We're gonna get chased out. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ain't no one ever told you not to steal from a witch? No, miss. Sorry, miss. You looks like a wizard to me. Yes, ma'am. I hate wizards. Get out of here before I do something nasty. Yes, ma'am. We'll face her later on. Phew, that was a close one. Right, now we've got the water. Let's use the map and try and figure out where that village idiot was. <laughs> got a funny feeling he's in this direction. Ooh, what's that on there? The, um... I need to find this put on the... That actually sounds really good, that one. It does sound like it sounds vaguely familiar. And if I just uh, do that thing, they go back there again there. I'm going to have to go look up some more of the ones from there, uh, like, especially like, the 90s point and click ones. I always wanted to make make my own. Uh, I got like the, um, the software that was supposed to help you to do, but I never had time to uh, sit down and learn it. The minute that I did start today, uh, over on the Discord, uh, I started um, playing the, um, uh, oh, what's it called, uh, Alone Amongst the Stars, which is a solo RPG game. Um, so basically, you, you have a deck of cards and you roll the dice uh, to generate a set of scenarios and you write a little story to go along with it. Have you got the water yet? As a matter of fact, I have. 
good. Pour it on the seed then. Assuming that I've configured the Discord right, uh, it might be completely blank. <laughs> You drown them. I have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. Let's go back. And we pick up the magic beans now. There we go. Now we will use the map. Go back to... Oh no, that's wrong map. <laughs> Click too high, or too low even. Let's hop through here. Back to the very start of the game. Go around the back of Calypso's cottage. Use the beans on the compost. Wow, this must be good compost. There we go. Pick up watermelon. <laughs> and then, oh, is it on the map? Oh, there's the crossings on the map. Oh, a little bit higher. Use watermelon on you. Oh, curses, it's broken. Because he didn't feel the This impact. is your lucky day. <laughs> I just happen to own a musical instrument repair parlor. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour. Of course he gets that in his hat as well. Uh, what's that there? The... Um... Oh, the, like YouTube keep disabling, like, like, uh, and, like enabling all the different features left, right, and centre, don't they? It's like over on, um, the, you know, especially like I think as well, like with the the new changes that YouTube have put in with the, I'm still not a fan of that new interface for doing the videos. Um, it, it it always just seems like a right pain that's really like sluggish and clunky. The suit's phone. There we go. It's a statue of a pygmy warrior woman. Yeah. This is where the cough medicine is going to be going. My <laughs> God! It's a real dragon! Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Ouch! <laughs> Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. Now uh, use... No, I don't we need a rope first? Or does it have a rope on it? It's got a rope on it, brilliant. Oh, 
climb up there. So now we will. Ooh. Where's the cold and flu medicine? <laughs> Use cold and flu on the ore. We must need something to drop it down with. Or maybe use... Hmm. I've had a little think about that. I can't quite remember. Maybe if we use it from down here and just chuck it in the hole. <laughs> that doesn't work. What about give medicine? That's just plain silly. Let's go back up because we didn't try the give command. Yep, the, uh, the asbestos uh, saves them once again. <laughs> Give medicine to Hull. No. I'll have to have a think about that because I can't remember offhand what we do with that. We'll go up this passageway here at the side and see what's up there until we get to the dead end. Unless that's the next screen. My, that's an interesting rock. Oh, hey, 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 pick up, pick up. Is that the rock I've been looking for? It has the word beer chalked on it. Not that one. <laughs> that one. It has a fossil in the middle of it. There we go. So we'll head up here because eventually we will get to the. Yeah, the bit with the missing peg. But we can't hop along the bottom, and if I remember right, there's a tree along here? Ah, right, now we need the white spirit to clean that mark off for him, don't we? It is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. White spirit. Just write that on the notepad. <laughs> it's a splodge of pink spray paint. All right, so the, the talk to point is at the top. There we go. What are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. There's no need to be rude. I'm afraid that I'm not having a good day. Um, tell Uncle Simon all about it. It's this pink splodge, see? Looks like spray paint to me. But do you know what it means? Can't say I do. It means that bloody woodcutter is coming to chop me down later today. What do you want me to do about it? You could remove the paint for me. What's it worth? If you do it for me, then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty-ho. Hurry up, though. I'm on it. Right. So we'll use the map table. We'll head back to the village. And I think what we'll do is we will save it for today. Uh, we have our saving the stream. Yep. <laughs> Leave it there. Because uh, normally we only do these like uh, one and a half hour sort of bursts on the uh, on the Monday, and it's nearly been two hours. So we'll um, we'll pick up this story next Monday. Um, given the rate of progress through it, we'll probably finish it next week. <laughs> it's not a, a massively long game. Uh, it could possibly run into three weeks though to finish uh, Simon uh, the first one anyway. Uh, Simon 2 will probably take quite a considerable length longer. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, tomorrow we will be back 
with uh, some Minecraft because Tuesday is Ravencraft day. Um, so we're going to mess around with that. I've been gathering up absolutely loads of, um, oh, what do you call it? Quartz. Uh, yeah, I've been gathering up loads of quartz because I'm going to rip out all those paths and I'm going to start rebuilding them uh, to, to look like the, the cub ones that we were looking at on the cub server on uh, Sunday night. <laughs> Because the the quartz with the the red brick, uh, I just love that contrast. It was so so much better. Um, so we're going to rejiggle all those paths again after we spent like like two nights making them in the first place. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is though I am going to quickly bring up uh, Twitch and we will see if anyone's streaming so that you can um, get your bonus eggs. Um, Oh, have, uh, have you guys been on on the day building your? Uh, you think you have to uh, you have to show us uh, the builds you've been making because uh, I had like look at the map a few days ago and I saw there was like some extra buildings up at Roll T's place as well. Um, obviously, I can't tell what they are from um, uh, from um, uh, the, the, the aerial picture on the map. Let's see, we have a choice today of Anita or Mr. Weeble. Mr. Weeble says he's playing Titanfall 2. Oh, she, she's building a trading hall. <laughs> I need to boost, uh, get that villager breeder sorted out, don't I? Want to go to uh, Anita today? It's uh, four cameras chatting. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll hop into that one there. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, as in, we'll return with Point and Click Night uh, next Monday, and I'm looking forward to doing more of Simon. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.